My name is Gerard Het Hoofd and uh, my subject is theoretical physics. I got interested in physics from a very early age on. I don't know why, uh, whether it was in my genes or whether uh, my family also inspired. There was, uh, there are scientists in my family. So it was not a new phenomenon in our family to get this little boy being interested in basic r science, laws of physics, nature in general, um, which caught much my attention much more than, say, uh, humanities or uh, interhuman relations, which I always found very mysterious. I could not understand. My uncle, who was uh, is a theoretical physicist, professor of theoretical physics, He's also a bachelor and he used to visit my family very frequently, uh, once every so many weeks. And, um, and I love to, to interrogate him, ask him questions about physics. I wanted to invest or think about physics. And I was thinking about physics with my mind, but I was doing it wrong, of course, as a kid. You, you, get the wrong, you, you don't understand immediately what, what you have to do. So, uh, I read these books about Einstein, about Bohr, and I wanted to do something similar great. What makes you win the Nobel Prize? Um, it's obvious that one has to be tremendously lucky. One has to be at the right place at the right time and have the right idea. And how that works is impossible to reproduce. Many physicists, biologists, and other scientists appear to believe that life was a practically necessary thing to happen to this Earth and that there will be many other planets where life has evolved, even intelligent life. Uh, I happen to think that um, what happened on this Earth, the evolution of life, must have been an extremely special event, an enormous combination of coincidences. In doing physics, you do need a certain amount of philosophy to guide you, as it were, into the kind of questions that you want to ask. So it's practically impossible to function as a theoretical physicist without having some sort of belief, a belief that you can't substantiate, you can't uh, verify, but you just have to believe. And, um, of course, as a human, we need even more such beliefs to function properly.